second appearance of the third party to manage uh, the Flipper Deck to the top 16. And on the other side, it's the first appearance for Stefano Cordoni with its Negro thing. Uh, Stefano Cordoni um, is playing a 42 card uh, Necro set with um, two Maxi mains. Not that great against uh, Clifford. Starting things off. There was an attack trailer, he changed Bogot Flip, saw uh, the, the center of Monty was face down, and he can uh, get the third. Kill the music, yeah, I did, thank you. Um, so, starting things off, there was a Senju, Senju was summoned, effect Baylor as well. On the Senju, he chained his Bog of Eclipse and he gets the search. He's searching for a Unicorn. Oh, and then there was a Manju. Yeah, and then there was a Manju. Players when you can search for a Kaleidoscope with Manju. Round two is gonna stop. So, please. By the way, uh, Alpai is facing a uh, Stella Knight. Sasha Fabian is facing uh, a Burning Abyss. Uh, yep, he searches for Makuras. Um, yeah, Clifford, he plays three Baylor main, three effect Baylor main. Uh, Stefano on the other side he plays two effect bear and two max C, so a lot of hand traps on Players both sides. You may start playing now. There is a carrier. <coughs> carrier tries to attack. There is the Valkyros. <coughs> yeah, um, Bakuram is right because he remembers Alberto Conti's stack from yesterday. Indeed, he's playing a uh, two ceiling ceremony of Mokuton, two River Reef Waller, three Mine Crush, three Finish Chain. A uh, single emptiness, single skill drain, and two recreate. So normally it should be a good matchup for all Alberto Conti because Alberto Conti's deck is <coughs> built to beat Necros with all these kind of uh, traps. But in real life, you know, sometimes things are different. It's a very, very strong board of uh, <laughs> Stefano Cordoni. Yo. Wow, another effect Valor on Manju, another Book of Eclipse. <laughs> Really good. So both of uh, Alberto Conti's effect veilers getting dodged by uh, both Book of Eclipse. Really, really strong. He's only running two Book of Eclipse, and he uh, obviously started with them. Oh, there is the Mokuton. And he removes Kaleido. Sealing ceremony of Mokuton. So 
a great response by uh, Alberto Conti. Yep, he removes the Clausalus and the Kaleidoscope out of the graveyard. Bog of Eclipse resolves. And he gets the surge again for Manju. Um, I will also keep you updated about the other uh, matches going on in top 16. If I get to know some of the results, I'll let you know. Yep, he's going for a second clauseless. still on the field. Yep, he gets the second clauseless. So he flips to Nikura again. I think I can see the clauseless uh, reinforcement and I think it's a Gangnir, yeah. So he went for, he went for Rhoda and um, clauseless, probably for a Shurid and a Cycle. Yep, you don't have to shuffle, I think you will activate the cycle for sure, it. yep. Effect of sure it, Valkyrius back on the field. Yeah, you're right Bakura, I mean he opened with two Valor and Stefano Godoni opened with two Bog of Eclipse. So perfect answer to the, the effect Valor. The name of the trap card is a seating ceremony of Mokuton. So he can tribute um, a earth monster to remove two cards out of the graveyard of uh, of his opponent. So you remove Kaleidoscope and Clausulus. This is not looking good for a Volker 20. Yep. There is a Brynek. He has Brynek and Gangnir in hand. Brynek for... <laughs> there is the Archmage. One of the very, very, very good cards and very good targets for Brynek. So he will summon um, Archmage. Come on, summon Archmage, yep. So it's 1500 damage plus 2300 damage plus 2800 damage. 51, 66 damage. So 1400 life points left. Fourteen hundred life points left. I think it's fourteen hundred, right? So either uh, Norman is wrong or I'm wrong, but I think um, 50 is 1500 plus 23 plus 28. <laughs> is it 28 or 20 29? No, it's even more damage. 29 plus 52 plus 67. 1300. And then here's the effect of Valkyrus to uh, draw two cards, distributing uh, Unicorn and Archmage, and he gets the search of Archmage. Archmage lets him search for a spellcaster Necros, so 
so he can go for a Unicorn, uh, Gangnir or uh, Valkyrus and he is uh, going for the Valkyrus. Four cards net. Yeah, we know most of them. It's Gangnir, Valkyrus, Maxi and um, some unknown card. Maxi uh, is not the best draw against Clifford. Better Kandi with two cards left. Oh, he top decks into uh, the summoner's art. Uh, he will go for a scout. He will pay 800 and he will drop under 1000 life points then. Yep, come on, activate Scout. Yeah, just told moment, yep, 1300 left but left. <laughs> Trishula has 2700, and uh, Vicarious is much bigger. So, um, if he pays, he will be at 500. Oh, I see two Klee monsters in his hand, but 1300 life points, it's just too low to do something really. Yep, he's going down to 500 life points, so one cowboy and uh, game over for Albert Condi. So... So, I don't know, Alberto Conti, I uh, can't understand it because it's top 16, you try to uh, do as much as you can, but 500 life points against the Necros with 8,000, 4 cards in hand, now 3 cards in hand, activating Maxi, uh, Valkyrie on the field and the face down uh, Manju, it's just too good. So, honestly we'll just uh, have a few more seconds until it's a uh, game. And then we'll have a look at both side decks. <laughs> okay. He looks very desperate, although I call me. A Clifford Tower would be re really good because Codoni, I don't. Oh, he's running size for arm. Okay, so yep, he is running Gangnir, three Valkyries, one size of armor, three Unicorn, one Trishula, two Clausulas, two Branic, two Shurit, one uh, Sorcerer of the Necros, three Mountain, three Sanji, two Maxi, two Effect Wheeler, and the Jin. 
Um, with two Eclipse, two Missile Space Typhoon, two Reinforcement, one Preparation, three uh, Mirrors and a single Raigeki and one Vanity Emptiness. On the left there's uh, another, it should be Helix or Carrier. Yep. Oh wow, he drew into a, vul uh, into a Valkyrie. He's no more able to to make the top cut, so I don't know why they are thinking about that so long. This game is almost over. When yep, the there is the Makuras. He, uh, he relaxed uh, himself. Uh, and, uh, he activates so Mono, uh, he activates uh, Sealing Ceremony of Mokotan, he tributes his... How am I always playing the Stellar Knight? <laughs> and, um, if I get to know some more scores about the other players, uh, I will tell you, so no worries. There's no hero play on the top. So there are four Burning Abyss, one Clifford, one uh, Stellar Knight, and the rest is Necros. Yep, he dodges the Valkyrius by activating Mogoton. There's Manju. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Garoveto. You're right. 11 Necros, 4 BA, 1 Teller, and uh, 1 Kli. Uh, no, it's 10 Necros. 10 Necros, sorry. 10 Necros, 4 BA, 1 Teller, 1 Kli. Because we are not playing uh, top 17. <laughs> Garoveto, so it's 10 Necros. Yep. Show the unicorn. Wow, he's going for uh, Star Eater, summoning um, Unicor with Gangnir, and um, yeah, Alberto Conny with just 500 life points left. Why isn't he going for Cowboy? Do I miss anything, or Cowboy would ga would be game? Cowboy. Thanks to Unico, the um, Cliffords are much bigger. Uh, you mean about Fire and Ice Hand, Belia? Um, Fire and Ice Hand, um, I think the hands were pretty strong against Clifford, but with uh, the low appearance of uh, Clifford, I won't play them because they you, you need to play at least three hands, so like you waste three or four spots in the side deck. So, um, uh, I think they are much better cards right now because it's not uh, Clifford is not the deck to beat. The, the deck to beat should be Necros and uh, Shadol, and I'm really surprised that there's no Shadol deck in the top 16.
No problem, Belia. Yep, um, I don't know why he's not going for Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Cowboy, uh, could be game, but okay. So this is uh, 1 0 for uh, Stefano Cordoni and his Necker stack. So we have a look at uh, Stefano Cordoni's side deck. He's playing two Denko Seca, two Psy Blocker, uh, the third Mystical Space Typhoon, two Shell Ride, two Breakthrough Skill, three Mind Crush, and three Royal Decree. So um, I think we'll see at least uh, the third Mystical Space Typhoon and probably uh, two Psy Blocker. And um, Avera Conti's side deck, we had that already. He's playing two Lancea, two Necro Valley, three Space Typhoon, two Dust Tornado, two, uh, three Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, a single Soul Drain, and two Climate Change. Ah, you're right, Bakuram. Oh, you're right. He can. Uh, he could, uh, could have used the Stealing Sermon of Mokutan to. Uh, Bounce the cowboy, you're right. That's a good cause for cowboy, didn't see that. So. I see Alberto Conti, he's uh, mm, <laughs> not making the company. Uh, Stefano Codoni on the other side, pretty strong. Um, I don't know about siding Royal Decree. He. Uh, Alberto Conti is running 14 traps in total. Decree, I think Stefano Codoni will side out the emptiness. Um, he will probably side out uh, one of the clips. Perhaps he's siding out uh, one uh, this size of armor. And he's uh, of course siding out two Maxi uh, and Valors. Yes, yes, at least five or six cards to side out and um, yeah we'll see mystical space death room side blocker perhaps some royal decrees or um denko Seca. but i'm i'm really surprised that there's no shadow uh deck in the top 16 all of these small decks stellar knights clee and burning Abyss, they managed to uh, make it to top 16 but should all along with Long Dao is missing in the top 16 in Bologna so Necros with uh, 10 decks is one of the strongest decks represented in top 16 and um, I think Simon Falanga he won his match um, he looks very happy and confident Alpai, play, Alpai Engine is still playing so Alpi is still playing, so no scores of Alpi. Okay guys, a uh, quick update for you, um, Simone Falanga won his uh, match and he's going to top 8. Um, Marcelo Barberi lost, so his Dunlock deck lost, he's not in the top 8. On the other side, Federico Sopini, he made it to top 8. So Sopini, Simone Falanga and uh, the opponent of uh, Marcelo Barberi, they make it to top 8. Okay, things are starting off with Senju. And a Rhoda. So there's Brianek and a Clausulus. No, it's just a Claus. Yep, he's going for Unicorn with um, Senju. And he's searching for Clausulus with Rhoda and Clausulus for Kaleido. Kaleidoscope is played. Unicorn Arc Effect. And. He is searching Arne! for Valkyros. 
great start, great opening again for Stefano Cordoni. So we uh, hopefully we get a get a look at Alberto Conti's hand. Wow. Necros Mirror with Shurid in hand uh, on Valkyrus. Very good start. Allora, ragazzi, per chi volete mangiare non serve andare al supermercato quando potete andare al ristorante dell'hotel e con 2 euro potete prendere un tramezzino, una pizza, un panino, c'è una convenzione speciale. Inoltre, come vi ho ricordato ieri, a 10 euro avete What a good start for Stefano Cadoni, starting off with Valkyrus and uh, Emerald. Quindi se volete fare pranzo, vi consiglio di andare qui in fondo, che c'è il ristorante. It's so sad if you're like the opponent and just sit there and see his amazing hand. It's sad. It's really sad. Okay. For foreign people, uh, Italian food is very, very good. You know it. But yep, Falanga one. Food is even better. So <laughs> you can eat for. So we're still in turn one. Stefano Cordoni with four cards in hand, a set card, Valkyrus and Emerald on the field. Alpay is still playing. And I think uh, Sasha Fabian is also still playing. So let's have a look um, at the body language. Um, I don't know why, but Stefano Codoni he is not looking that confident. But Alberto Conti on the other side, he is very nervous. I see a recreate in his hand. I think there was Lancea, but there is. Um, a carrier. Yep, there is the Valkyros. He removes Shurid out of his graveyard. No. Yep, no, yep. No, it's an Archmage. Oh, Archmage. Archmage has a second effect. If he gets uh, removed, he can. Um, Send another Necros monster out of the deck uh, to the graveyard, and that's Trishula. So he's definitely trying to go for Trishula. Um, I saw Recreate on uh, Alberto Conti's hand. Uh, Stefano Codoni's hand is really strong. He will draw another card, and you can use uh, the effect of uh, Emerald as well again. So this is looking good for Stefano Codoni. There's Rivoli followed. Any response? No response? So with Emerald and the uh, Valkyries on the field he needs to decide and I think he would go for Valkyries.
that's the sad part. If you have brick hands, especially in clay, and you're facing a such consistent deck like Necros, it's very hard to win. Yep, Emerald goes to the graveyard. <laughs> Rivalry is a really good card. Oh, skill drain as well. But Valkyrus is still big. Oh, he chains. Book of Eclipse. <laughs> Book of Eclipse, change to skill range. <laughs> yep. He asked for the defense of a Valkyrus. Yep, he activated the effect of Valkyrus. Draws two, uh, gets the effect of Shurit. Yeah, I saw the decree, I saw the Psy blocker, I saw another decree. So he sided in Psy blockers, decrees, and the MSC. There's Branek. I don't know if he needs to shuffle. I think Brianic will go to the grave soon. Hmm? Alpai Engen is still playing. Uh, Luigi Alici is still playing against uh, Burning Abyss. Sasha Fabian is also still playing. So, Alberta Conti with just one card in hand, I think the other face down is definitely a Recreate. If it's not in hand, then it's definitely a Recreate. And <laughs> the Recreate isn't that useful with uh, a skill drain. Yeah, he has two cards in hand, I think one of them is Lancia. Yep, new back, you're right. Alberto Conti was in the feature match yesterday with his Klee and he won that feature match. Wow, five minutes left and we're, s we're in game two. Five minutes left. But things are really looking good for Stefano Codoni. Yep, another carrier. But that's it. So it's the foreign Cordoni's turn again. Yeah, Alberto Conti just uh, looked at me and he was very sad. He knows that it's almost over. It's like five minutes round, uh, five minutes left in the round, and his field is not that great. And he's behind with life points, so um, hard times.
and because like people are talking about uh, Necro's OP, um, you just need to have a look at the, all the upcoming cards and the new decks coming out. Um, it's always like that. They, you do not have to uh, weaken Necro's. You just have to go for another for for a better deck, and that's it. So um, with the new Water Fusion uh, for Shadal, uh, Shadal could be even more competitive for uh, for Necro's then. So we had uh, 177 viewers right now. Um, there's another Book of Eclipse chained to the effect of Valkyrie, so you will draw another two cards and we got another search for uh, uh, Shurit. More draws and I think he tr just tries to draw into a decree or a MST finally to finish his opponent off. Um, he sets to hopefully one of them is decree because then the game is over for about to count this GG easy then. <laughs> the I think he's thinking about activating it in his opponent's turn. Oh, it's an MST. MST and Royal Decree. Wow. Amazing. So, MST and Royal Decree. So, he MSTs one of the scales. And uh, decrees on the other hand. So, the Recreate face down is dead. The River Bree is dead. The Skill Drain is dead. Um, he has, I think, an Lancea in hand. So, he can um, uh, fiddle the Trishula, but that's it. The card in Necros, right, is uh, Necros of Archmage. It's uh, something like the Dance Princess. It's just 100 uh, ATK uh, weaker. But his effect is pretty nice because if you tribute him for a Necros effect, you can search for a Spellcaster Necros. It could be Gangni, it could be Valkyrios, or it could be Unicorn. And um, if he gets removed from the graveyard, you can uh, send a Necros monster from your deck to the graveyard. Like sure it if you need some uh, something to tribute. Or um, Trishla or Barpius if you want to cycle it back out of the graveyard. So he is activating the Summoner's Art, he's going for a Monolith. But I still don't see a way getting over uh, Valkyrus. Yep, Helix, Carrier. Pendulum summoned to the field. Yep. Tribute summon with Lancea and he pops the Royal Decree. This is, this is, um, he can, I think, yeah, he needs to set it. So he needs to. Yep. Pops it and then he needs to decide between uh, one of them. But there's still no way to get rid of this Valkyros. Yep, there is a Brannick. 
So the decree was nice, but just for a single turn because Helix popped the decree. Okay, Unicor, Clausulus. Clausulus? Cycle. Cycle. With Senju for a Unicorn, since he is a Spellcaster, that's no problem. Attack with Unicorn, attack with Valkyrus. Some damage, but... Oh yeah, there's Skidrin on the field, so... Mm, doesn't matter. Um, he can panel on some of them back if he wants. Uh, the Reclaid is still dead on uh, on the field. So he's still searching for a way to uh, get over this Valkyrus. There is a Helix. There is a carrier. And since I have his deck list, there is no tower in his deck. And there's no tower in his side deck. And Yeah, it's it's very hard to get rid of, of Valkyrus. He really needs to sacrifice along with the 2800 beat. End of the round, end, end of the round for side leg. Side leg, that's the end of the round. Okay. Valerio Zucco, hai vinto la tua partita o il terzo della tua partita? Wow, he decides of armor. He decides of armor for another 1000 damage. Sassaro, Christian e Sassaro, hai vinto o hai perso? Sassaro! Mirko Dolce, hai vinto o hai perso? Mirko Dolce! Contro Mazza Saverio! Sasha Fabian, you lost? Against Burning Abyss. <laughs> okay, Sasha Fabio lost to Spell Cancellor. So, what about Alpai Engine and um, huh? Alpai Engine and uh, Luigi Alci? They're still playing. So, um, Barberi is out. Sasha Fabian is out. It's just uh, Simone Falanga and Zopini who are in the top 8 right now. Alpai is still playing. Alpai? Yeah, Alpai won. So Alpai continues to uh, top 8. Congratulations to Alpai, the running engine. engine. So, whoa, things turned around. Uh, so Pini is playing Necros. He tributes for a stealth. And he used the effects of a carrier and the Helix Helis pops his uh, own shell so he can play scout and the boy is pretty strong right now for Alberta County so I think we are in the timeout soon
So, hard time to Stefani Cordoni. But he's leading with life points. If he. Oh, he scoops. He scoops. That rivalry took his life. So it's 1 1. I think it should be time out. I'll, I'll ask for that. Okay. Um, it's time out, so... <laughs> we are starting in the time out, we have just... Four turns? Four turns, so... This is the first turn for... Stefano Credoni. He has a Manju, a Senju, a Regeki. Uh, I think perhaps I'll put a Connie starting. So this is turn one of the timeout in top 16 and uh, the feature match between Necros and Clifford. So, yep, Alberto Condi starts with a Summoner's Art. I already saw um, a scout in his hand. And there's a monolith. And there is a scout. And he's searching for stealth. So um, he's paying 800, so he should be on 72 right now. Then he pendulum summons okay. carrier and disc for stealth, stealth effect, bouncing a uh, scout to hand, activate another scout, the same scout again, pay 800 again, and he's probably searching for recreate. Um, a pretty strong opening, but on the other side, Stefano Cordoni is leading with 1600 life points. 
So he just needs to uh, protect his life points with Vicarious for some turns, and that's the game. So, end phase, two more draws because of the monolith, he drew two monsters. Um, with stealth, a stat recreate, um, scout, and monolith on the field. Uh, that's a very strong opening for Stefano Cardoni. So Player Stefano Cordoni. We are in the time mode guys, so that's why they think a little bit more than normal. Like also, I have to remember you that the restaurant of the hotel is giving you Italian macaroni with a special price. There's Brynick. Yeah, it depends if he has Lancier or not. But yep, he is going for Valkyrie. He shuffled really good, but he's, he's summoning Sanju and Manju anyway, right? Or he's just setting and stalling? Okay, he just set Sanju and um, passes his turn with the Valkyries in hand. So it's Alberto Conti's turn. The two searches uh, with Scald costed him 600 life points. Okay, I see. I see. Uh, Baylor's over there. Um, the problem is he can't uh, Lancia in his own turn. So I think Valkyrie is uh, pretty much a safe choice. So we're still in the second, in the total third turn of the timeout in top 16. I see still the Regeki and Stefano putting his hand. He has a Manju, a Regeki, the Valkyrus, and one unknown card. And I see definitely the Availer. We have the, the results of the uh, other matches because this is the last match going on. Simone Falanga won, Federico Sopini won, I play the running engine engine won, Gianluca Leone won, Luigi Alici won, uh, Lorenzo Santoni won, Riccardo Ruatti and uh, the final spot is taken by Alberto Conti or Stefano Cordoni. So here is Alpe the running engine engine. <laughs> the running engine. You see the game is over. He just, yeah, he just stalled for one turn with Valkyrie oh yeah. and that's it. He paid for one? Yeah, he paid, he paid uh, for Scout two times, so in okay. the time out. There's not much he can do. Um, Alberto Conti lost and Stefano Cordoni. Um, yeah, one more Necros. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> we have another Necros in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Direct wieder Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so two Burning Abyss remaining. Two Burning Abyss. Yep. Okay, so um, 
Yeah. 176. 